I don't have many friends. I'm shy, quiet, and I am not popular in high school. Will I ever make friends or will I be alone forever? To find the answer, I'm going to be joining a high school built in Minecraft with one goal make 50 friends in only seven days. But as I joined, I already noticed a problem. Wow, every person has the exact same skin on here. This server was plagued by basic e-boy and basic e-girl skins, except for me. And even though I love my bushy eyebrows and big teeth, I was already an outcast. But I tried to let go of this and make some new friends. I need friends. Do you want to be my friend? Friends? You guys want to be friends? I know you want to be friends. Hi. Brother, what? It wasn't going well. I wasn't sure what the problem was or how to solve it. And if I wanted any shot at completing this challenge, I needed some help. And thankfully, I knew just who to call. Hi, Terrain. Prince Zam, I need your help. Okay, what's up? I am on a roleplay server trying to make friends in Minecraft High School. I'm here. Prince Zam, Lifesteal SMP member, high school failure, and Lego cosplayer. Here, handshake. Handshake, that's plus one. A handshake meant one friendship, but while having Zam as a friend was a good start, I needed over 49 friends in the next seven days. So we came up with a plan. Only go for handshakes and bribe if we have to. Oh, Nickel Borson. <laughs> Come here, Nickel. Come here. How much money for you to be my friend? He said like 10 yen. Nickel will do it for free hand. this time. And shake. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Please shake our Yes, dude. Okay, that's yes, plus two. Let's do, okay. Let's do. <gasps> Harrison. Thank you. Oh, cool, Byro Pen. But as Zam logged off the server, I was once again left alone. Okay, so I've started to realize that getting friends with this method is pretty bad. Because if I'm really trying to make 50 friends and be popular, I need people to know who I am, not just shake my hand for no reason. And luckily, a new friend was willing to help me with that mission. Jorge Krakowski, man. That's my name. Jorge Krakowski, an Australian seventh grader. Together, we started to research the best way to make friends when we stumbled upon something that would change everything. Oh, oh. Wait, they do have a Discord server. We, we should join the- we should join a uh, VC1. There are like two people in there. Let's go, let's go. Hello? 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 Yo! Those voices belong to two students in the call, Amy and Christian. This was it, my first chance to gain real friends. I'm trying to learn how to roleplay, please. Can you explain to me what do I have to do? Uh, roleplay you... dying. That's not very fun. Where are you guys? The We're at the uh, the front gate. You said at the front <laughs> gate? What the f*** are you guys talking about? The, like, the front of the school. You guys are so stupid. God damn. Yo, Amy, one of them has a Steve skin, basically, and the other <laughs> oh, one has- no. Oh no, I don't wanna no. cry. These people are- This is why I never get on- And a just like that, I met Christian, the high school bully. At this point, I just wanted to leave the voice call, but as I was about to leave- You're Terry Ryan, right? Yeah, that's me. I want you to look uh, to your right. Imagine being on the ground. I knew there would be bad apples at the school. It was just a matter of time until I met them. But as much as I tried to ignore the situation, I couldn't. What if everyone in the school was like Christian? Was it even worth trying to complete the challenge? The only way I would truly know is if I logged back in for day two. Friends? No, wanna be friends? Weird girl under the bench maybe day two started rocky my messages were ignored my call was empty and doubt was growing i spent this morning in silence waiting for someone anyone to talk to me and then hello hello oh han lever okay han lever han hade jättegod röst och have a good one sorry mate i gotta go Did I even expect, bro? And as the silence settled, that's when it hit me. I wasn't scared everyone would be like Christian. I was scared of myself. Afraid that no matter how far I stepped out of my comfort zone, trying to make friends would always be impossible. It's so weird because like in real life, like I just wait for people to approach me and I'm doing the exact same thing on here. I thought I was going to be like all confident and I'm just, I'm doing the exact same thing that I always do. And to think that I thought I'd make friends on here. <laughs> Guess not. I wanted to persevere, but with nobody around me to be my friend, I didn't see this challenge as possible. Until... So if you go... Oh. Hi! What is going on? Don't swarm, my boy. I just need friends. That's all I need. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe other people wanted to be my friend, and maybe... I just needed to have a little more confidence in myself to realize that. Hello? Hi. Back. Yeah, you guys are back. Alice and Hayden, the two Swedish students who left my VC at the start of the day, even joined back. 
to talk to me. I'm sorry, we're Swedish. Though. Swedish. Okay, I was trying to I was trying to guess the language. I thought it was Polish. Yeah. I've just been running around the server trying to figure out how to make friends. Yeah, it's not always quite easy. Yeah, I started in like late 2018. What got you interested in it? It was just fun when you got friends, you know, you could roleplay as whatever. Right. Honestly, about making friends, it's not quite easy in the beginning, because people usually don't like greenies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they have a lot of, um, judge. So just wait a little bit, I'm sure you'll find somebody. Alice and I only talked for five minutes, but for the first time, I had a real friend. Not just a handshake, but a friendship. Well, uh, I'm actually gonna go and do something else now, but right. if you need any help, just, uh, yeah, you can see me. Alright. Well, see you. See ya. We made a friend! Yeah! Something tells me I was a little happy. But little did I know what challenges day three would bring. Okay, so I just logged in. Uh, issue, it is 4.55 a.m. and the school is closed. Unbeknownst to me, the gates to the school opened at 8.30 a.m. Anytime before that, the gates were locked shut. One second in real life is four seconds on the server, meaning that if I wanted to go to school today, I'd have to wait over 45 minutes. I have been in this VC for like an hour and nobody has joined. I'm gonna start doing roleplay in the chat to see if people are more receptive to that. Let's let's be called stupid or something. Come on, just give me anything. Respond to my message. No, nothing. Nothing. I may as well be freaking invisible, bro. Not only was this wait so boring, but I only managed to make one friend while waiting. Mort Tui, a two-year-old rat with drip and the status of a local celebrity. Granted, his chat messages were incoherent, but he gave me this energy drink, so that was something. But as I mindlessly ran around, I remembered something that Alice had said in our voice call the day before. You can also join teams of football cheerleading. Joining a sports team provides me and other people with a common interest, meaning that we have a reason to be real friends. The plan was simple. Join the soccer team and befriend the other players. Oh, break away, break away. We're fine. We're fine. Fine! Save it! Okay, go in. Let's go! Holy crap, this chick is good at soccer. Drag, wait. Oh my gosh! Yo! How did we go from having no friends to having a soccer coach in like one morning? I learned two important things on this day. One, I suck at soccer. <laughs> And two, soccer was without a doubt the best way to make friends. Every person who stepped on the field quickly became my friend, but unlike the days prior, these connections were genuine. In just one hour, I had made a total of 15 strong friendships and three best friends, Miko, Miku, and Mitsuki. Typically, this would have been the time at which I quit the server for the day, but today, I didn't. I finally felt like I fit into a crowd. I felt liked. I know that these two are role-playing, but it just feels like I've actually finally made real friends. I still have a ton of handshakes to get, but Mitsuki mentioned that the soccer team tryouts are in four days, and I can get over 50 friends through that. But I'm going to need to train pretty hard for that, because right now I am not good enough at all. But with the halfway point of my challenge on the horizon, there was only one person I could call to have any chance of making the team. Yeah, my name is Yukon Zuk, I'm from Veg region in Slavic region. <laughs> this is Yukon Zuk, a 12-year-old from a vague Slavic region who offered to coach me in soccer. I'm not going to lie, I had my doubts. I mean, he looked a little weird, but as soon as we started playing, we were unstoppable. You can suck will, will help save the day. You will make soccer team. They made a mistake making fun of you for not being an e-boy. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I'm built different with it. Oh, let's easy. go. Let's go. Easy. The layaway. Turn him on the other side. That's... Send it. You. <gasps> no way. That was epic. That was actually insane. That was actually insane. But it wasn't until after our soccer training where Yukon and I went to the server auction house until I saw Yukon's true intentions of joining the server. Kirby <gasps> backpack. I need another Kirby backpack. How expensive is it? It's 80,000 yen. 80,000 yen for a backpack is ridiculous, but Yukon wanted it badly. And with the threat of losing one of my closest friends, I knew we had to find a way to get it. And luckily, Yukon had a solution. Where to buy gun? <laughs> That's right. 
he wanted to rob people. Initially, I was very opposed to this idea. I mean, I was trying to shake people's hands, not shoot them in the face. Prime undermined basically the whole point of the challenge. But just as I was about to cut ties with Yukon, I remembered my talk with Alice on day two. I've been gang RP. That's like most of the things I've been doing. Gang RP, something I never would have expected to do. Ever. But Alice made a ton of connections from it, and although these connections were with criminals, they boosted popularity nonetheless. So I had a choice to make. Cut ties with my new best friend and hope for the best, or set aside my morals to help Yukon and try to meet some gangsters. Give me go doggy or your, your fishing rod. Uh-oh. This is my dog. Uh-oh. <laughs> Our dog. Give me watch. This is robbery. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Stay away from my dog, she is working. Give us 50,000 yen or suffer the press. I'm 13 now. I just, I just moved up grid. The dog robbery failed, but we weren't giving up so easily. Michael, give me your money. I am 13. I have gone. Uh oh, I don't think we have a gun. I'm bluffing. Fun is only police are able to have guns. Wait. How do we beat police? Hey, what's up? That goes into the sewers. Oh. <gasps> I found Fight Club! <gasps> Wait, you actually found Fight Club? I found Fight Club! Oh my god. How did we stumble on- <laughs> I'm actually like the greatest. I can't believe we're actually in the actual Fight Club. I'm shocked. We f I'm shocked you found this. But despite our best efforts, we couldn't get enough money for the backpack, and I hadn't made a single friend. But while I expected Yukon to be mad, he wasn't. I thought Yukon was playing with me to get the backpack, but in reality, he just wanted to have fun. And although I thought this day was wasted with no progress towards my own goal, I realized that this day was anything but a waste. My strongest friendship was made today, and that taught me something. I shouldn't focus on joining the server only to fill a quota, because a day with minimal handshakes isn't wasted if I could make just one close friend. The adventures of Terry Ryan and Yukon Zook. <laughs> Let's go. But on day five, I had a sudden realization. I hadn't attended any actual school. Everything I had been doing up to this point was on campus, but never in an actual classroom. All my friends from real life I've met in my classes, so my plan today is to uh, sign up for whatever class is running and try to connect there. And that's exactly what I did. Bro, we're in class. Everyone in a seat. You're, you're in how to play volleyball, raise your hand. We're, are we in gym class? What are we doing? We're in volleyball. We played volleyball for like 30 minutes, but I could barely speak to anyone while focused on the game. Oh, you! Dubs! The only two people I even interacted with were my teammates, Sheba, and get this, influential rapper Tupac. <gasps> Tupac's here! <laughs> He's gonna get off. Is that Tupac saying that? No, it's not. Too off the court for a moment. Who the f are you talking to? But the answer to that question was quickly discovered. What? Where am I? Detention? Wait, what? Rules of detention. Sit as close to the front as you possibly can. Do not converse, only speak when spoken to. This behaving in detention can lead to suspension. The hell? Why are we here? Where's Tupac in all this? Tupac was playing with us. Tupac frame us? That's right, the coach was talking to me and Sheba. There was absolutely nothing to do in detention but run around. And even though I added Sheba to my friends list, this day had already gone to waste. I had vowed yesterday to only add people I could connect with. And yet here I was, adding some random guy because we both got screwed by Tupac in Minecraft high school volleyball. And that's not even to mention, the soccer tryouts were in two days and my challenge ends in less than 48 hours. But there I stood, wasting away my precious time. But my imprisonment had one upside. I had plenty of time to brainstorm a master plan for day six. You see, I had over 40 handshakes on the server at this point, but only a handful of those were real friendships. What did those close friendships have in common? Sports. But soccer wasn't the only sport in the school, and seeing how effective it was, my genius plan was set in motion. Make friends by playing the other sports. So I logged onto the server and went to the- Oh, f my life. You know how school was closed day three because I showed up too early? Well, day six, I showed up at 2.15, AM. Mind you, school starts at 8.30. I have almost six hours of waiting. Or did I? Because within the school grounds, I spotted someone. Raphael Cello, a fellow ninth grader who had been locked in the school. Exactly how he managed to get stuck in there, I have no idea. But little did I know the power that Raphael held. Kenny McCormick would like to carry me. <gasps> no! 
Roshan. In addition to me, Raphael also broke in a new student named Rocky, but with the entire school on lockdown, these were the only two friends who were physically in the school with me. But that didn't stop us. We played all the sports. We tried baseball, which was literally impossible. What the f how? We tried volleyball, despite my terrible history with it from the day before because of Tupac. But despite us being bad, that didn't matter. Rocky and Raphael liked me. I didn't need to be good at baseball or volleyball to impress them. I just needed to be a good friend. Not to mention that despite the early hours, I had managed to find even more people. I found Jaren cosplaying as Barney the Dinosaur. Why are you Barney, bro? Why are you Barney? I'm Barney. I'm, Why I'm are Brooklyn. you Barney? And I also found Jaren's friend. Terry, Terry, look behind you. Look behind you, Terry. Ooh, cool. <laughs> Dude. But unlike my previous days of the challenge, the size of my friends list was becoming less and less relevant. And nothing was a better indicator of this than the next person who joined my call. Yukon Zook is returning today. Let's go! Yukon, who hadn't returned since day four after not being able to buy the Kirby backpack, came back. All right, I make it back in school. Purple dinosaur helped me get in. And this is when I realized these were my true friends. Ones I could suck at sports with and not feel oh embarrassed. Wait, oh, what? throw a jump into there. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> throw a jump into my pitch. <laughs> ones I could carry around my head while running next to a pool. And ones that knew just what to say. Subscribe to Terry Ryan? Does that work? Yeah, that was perfect. Hopefully we get more subs now. But just like my goal to reach 300,000 subscribers by the end of 2022, I remembered my aspiration from day three. Make the soccer team. There was one day left in my challenge, and with tryouts happening tomorrow, I hit the disconnect button and hoped for the best. The Bobcat male football team are hosting tryouts in a few minutes. Start making your way towards the football pitch if you plan on joining the team. We've been training for four days for this moment. Okay, these are the, the coaches, I take it. Anybody that we know? I don't think so. It's fine. It doesn't matter. What is going on right now? With the, is the cheerleaders? The Bobcat cheerleaders made their grand entrance, all 10 falling behind the captain themselves. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is going on? What is going on? But even with the distraction of the cheerleaders, one chat message popped up that changed everything. Bro, is that Terry? <gasps> what? Oh my god. No way. Bro, we found Mitsuki. Mitsuki was there. She was one of my closest friends and my coach from day three. She came to support me. Her name is Yuan Fangsu now. I don't know why it's different, but it's Mitsuki. I can't believe it. <laughs> but unfortunately for me, if you would have showed up earlier, you could have tried out. Wait, wait, tryouts already happened? Did I miss it? They're right now, but you're too late, I think. I'm too late. Really? Oh, ask Judas. Where's Judas? Is it too late to try out for football? Oh my gosh, please. I was allowed to try out. Woo, Terry, let's go. <laughs> Feel so proud. Your dream is finally coming true. This is it. This is literally it. I've been training for four days. And if I make it, then today I finish the challenge. This is it. He's literally watching, bro. Yohan is watching. He's actually like, she's, she's trying to see it. If we do this, I make you unhappy. That's what I'm doing. Why I'm doing this. Where'd the ball go? Don't go past where you stood you, when you're in defense. Because you're in defense this time. Okay. Stand here. Don't cross up too much. Okay. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. It's fine. Try not to cross past that red field over there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro, that was terrible. Why am I crossing it? 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 Why did that go nowhere? Do not go past the red flag. Don't double cross. This is so bad. So bad, bro. Actually, what am I doing? All right, all right. That's that's all. Line up on the middle line. That was it? Oh, no. No, 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 bro. No. I bombed, bro. I absolutely bombed. They're going to tell me whether I made it or not. I'm worried, man. I'm really... I'm not past worried. Not to cross past that I'm really worried. Not going past the red flag. Actually, what am I doing? <laughs> we, uh... We didn't make it. I was rejected. Four days of practice wiped in a second. But I didn't care. Day three, I wanted to be on the soccer team for one reason, is that was to make friends with all the soccer team players. That's all I wanted. That's That was my motivation. It wasn't because I wanted to have fun. It was because I wanted to make friends. 
If I get in, I will make those friends. But if I don't get in, I will have made friends anyways. And so as much as I want to worry about what happened today on the soccer field and how I didn't do well, I, I don't care. I still have time to get my 50th friend, but that didn't matter to me anymore. The amount of handshakes I got weren't important to me. Because to be honest, a lot of people in the school were like Christian from day one, judging me because of who I was and what I wanted. But popularity, making 50 friends, was never going to solve my problems. Because only making real friends could do that. Ones that would support me. Terrain, this was a great time. No matter what my skin looked like. Let's go, Terry. Let's go. Or who I was. Yoan, I couldn't have done this without you, girl. You're the best, for real. And no, I'm still not popular in my real high school. But if I learned anything from these seven days, the number of friends you have isn't what matters. It's the few close friends, the people who care about you, and the people who you care about, who you should truly cherish.